Hi, my name is Callum Lang. I'm a partner at the Unity Group and the co-author of the book, Agglomerate. I'm going to share with you a number of reasons why companies join agglomeration. One of the primary reasons why people join an agglomeration is to provide liquidity in the business. The problem with being a small business owner is that it's incredibly illiquid. For an investor, there's a huge risk about putting money into your company. It's an opportunity risk because they're not able to get that money back out again. Therefore, if you join an agglomeration, you're now part of a publicly listed business. You're now, your shares can be traded on a day-to-day -day basis, and that completely de-risks it for investors. They can put money in in the morning and take it out in the afternoon if they, they desire. For the founder, that means that if you want to sell 5% and pay off the house, you can do that. Normally in a small business, we don't have that privilege. So the scale paradox is a challenge that faces all small businesses. Basically, a heart of the scale paradox is that as a small, typically under-resourced business, you can't go for the really big contracts. Because you can't get the really big contracts, you remain a small, under-resourced business. Oftentimes what happens is a big company will win the contract, outsource the work to you because you're better at delivering it, but they'll cream off all of the profits in the, in the meantime. Now the reason this happens is that in big companies, procurement best practice is never to give you a contract that's more than a third of your annual revenue. So even though you're often the best provider of the service, often it's the best value, that company still can't give you the work directly. When you join an agglomeration, in effect, when you go through the procurement process with big companies, they're now looking at the balance sheet of the combined entity. So rather than pitching as a $10 million local business, you're now pitching as a $200 million global PLC. That just access, that allows you to access a much, much bigger range of projects and a much bigger range of budget. One of the nicest things about the agglomeration is joining an executive board of other entrepreneurs, people that have built multi-million dollar debt-free profitable businesses in different countries, different sectors, that are there with you with a vested interest in helping you succeed. One of the biggest challenges facing small businesses that really is a huge separator between small businesses and big PLCs is your ability to attract good senior staff. To get to that level where you can really grow and start to challenge the big boys, you need to have senior staff. But for many talented individuals, it's perceived as a risk to join a small business. When you become part of an agglomeration, you can still offer all of the advantages that a small business provides to a, an individual in terms of having access across the whole company and, and all of those good things that come from a small business, yet you can give them the security that comes from a big PLC. You can reward them with stock in, in an actual PLC and that provides a huge leveler when individual candidates are considering whether joining your company or another company. One of the strongest benefits of being part of an agglomeration is the ability to go out and acquire other companies in your sector. Most of the entrepreneurs that we work with have reached the stage in their careers where they realize that the fastest way for them to grow, the fastest way to add value to their clients is through acquisitions, but oftentimes they lack the resources to do that. Working with Unity Group and with the new currency of this publicly traded stock, it allows you to go out potentially to buy competitors, to buy companies in new territories, and even to buy uh, suppliers, partners, anything that could make your company a stronger proposition for your clients. Growth through acquisition is something big companies do all of the time, but for most small companies it's out of reach. Joining an agglomeration gives you the chance to do those acquisitions. One of the frustrations that many entrepreneurs face is a feeling like we're, we're spinning our wheels, like we're not growing as fast as we want to. Fast growth is one of the things that gets entrepreneurs going and oftentimes the entrepreneurs we meet with have got to a certain level but they feel like they're plateauing. Plateauing for an entrepreneur is kind of like running backwards, it's very frustrating. So I think joining an agglomeration, having that visibility of what it's like to work in a PLC, to be part of a global entity, to understand the way the money markets work and impact business is really an evolution that I think most entrepreneurs should go through as part of their education process. The agglomeration is not designed as an exit for your business, it's designed as a growth strategy. However, it would be unrealistic for us to assume that entrepreneurs are going to stay in their business forever. In fact, I genuinely believe that the amount of stress that most entrepreneurs are under for the length of time that they're under is not particularly healthy. So we fully expect entrepreneurs after a few years to want to move on to take on new challenges. One of the, nine, one of the hardest things for being 
uh, being an entrepreneur is succession planning. It's nearly impossible to bring someone in from external that's a good cultural fit, and it's nearly impossible to train a founder to think like an entrepreneur. The solution that we've found is to find another entrepreneur running a business like yours, put them in charge of both businesses, and then you can step into a chairperson role. They can send you reports every week. Because of the nature of the agglomeration, two to three years down the line, you'd expect to have two to three hundred companies within the group. And that provides a rich picking for companies that would be interested in taking over your asset. And the way that we motivate all of our founders with additional shares each year makes it very attractive for people to want to take over your asset if you ever want to step down. Another advantage from joining the agglomerate is you get to learn about how publicly listed companies work. You get to learn how markets treat uh, finance and how markets treat businesses in that, uh, that environment. Why that's really powerful is that you're already uniquely qualified to go and be a non-exec director in other companies. However, having that PLC experience really takes you to the next level and opens up a whole world of opportunities to go and sit on public boards where you can make a real contribution plus learn about other businesses and other industries. Many times entrepreneurs go into business with a desire to become a high net worth or even an ultra high net worth individual. The challenge for most of us is that, that we create this huge value in our business yet we're unable to leverage it, we're unable to extract that value. By joining a publicly listed company and having free trading stock, it suddenly takes us into the realms of the, the high net worth individuals. Once you reach that level, once you have free trading stock, then you'll find a lot of private banks are suddenly clamoring to get in touch with you and offer you all sorts of advantages that are not open as a private businessman. As you can see, there are a number of benefits for joining the agglomeration. Each company that joins has its own primary reason for what it's looking to get out of the agglomeration. But hopefully as a combination, it solves a number of very real problems that are facing business owners.